the new Bosch Unlimited Cordless Vacuum Cleaner with Exchangeable Battery. Ooh, shiny. Uh, yeah, so I need to crack this bad boy open and have a look. Okay, so um, I'm going to have a go at building this bad boy. So as I said before, this is the Bosch Unlimited Cordless Vacuum Cleaner with um, exchangeable battery, um, up to 45 minutes run time, um, up to 60 minutes on normal mode with non-electrical uh, accessories for cleaning, furniture, etc. Um, comes with a charger. So, um, yeah, this has just been delivered to me by AO. Um, so I'm gonna get building it and see what happens. Don't laugh. Um, but so this is going to be for all of those um, people who think, oh God, am I actually able to um, put it together? Um, so I'm going to try and keep the box relatively intact, um, just in case there is a problem. Um, but there is like a little seal. Um, for those of you who haven't been um, had delivery from AO.com before as well, they do take a picture of it when they deliver it to you. So um, they can um, obviously prove the, the state that it, it gets delivered in. Obviously mine was delivered in mint condition, so not a problem. But um, the delivery guys, I always find with AO, the delivery guys are really super friendly as well, which is nice. So, okay, that was quite easy. Just one, there we go, one sticker and the flaps on the side. So let's see what we've got in here. I obviously opened it the wrong way. So we have got the unlimited book here in the bajillion languages. Uh, we've got my Bosch guarantee um, and oh there's a protection plan leaflet that you can choose to use um, that is the information booklet all about the charger um, that's, I think that is the pocket sized book um, I'm not sure why you need all of them um, right, okay, and that's all I can get out now. Right, so I've got, okay, I'm going to unpack it as I go. So that is the battery pack, I'm guessing, the removable battery pack. It's got a button at the front there, which you press, which releases the button, um, and you can charge it all that way. So that's that there. Oh, here we go. This is the Hoover head. Um, I will do some close-ups on this in a minute as well. Um, so that's the Hoover head, so it's got um, a movable head side to side, up and down. It's actually got a pipe in the centre there. Um, and then it's got a release clip on the top, I'm guessing, for when you attach it. And then here, it's got spiralised brushes. Now, I have actually had a cordless vacuum before, um, but um, the... Ah, oh, that's what I was looking for. Look, as you can see, the brush comes out and twists and clip. The um, one I had before, it wasn't a Bosch one, and it wasn't for AO. Um, the clip was so hard to get out of here that it actually ended up just being bunged up, and we've actually not been able to use it because um, because of all we've got lots of long-haired people in the house. So yeah, so this one says high-powered brush. Well, it's going to need to be. Oh, and that's good. So obviously it comes out. You saw me just twist and take it out there on the top here. It shows you the lock symbols. So if you twist it towards me, that unlocks it, put it in, twist it back and it locks and it won't come back out again. So that's good, so that's the head. I'm gonna put all the rubbish over to one side. Ignore my floor, it does need a hoover. Um, and then, oh right, so we've got an attachment here, a wibbly wobbly one. Um, so that is obviously one of the nozzles with the release clip again never seen one that's flexible like that they're usually completely solid so that's quite interesting it's rubber okay so that's different the end isn't the end this end bit is full plastic but this middle bit is complete rubber yeah, that's interesting that's quite good actually i think that's better for getting around bends and different things obviously you'd have to be careful not to clog up but oh that's quite good different that down there and then we've got the main body, which isn't, it's quite, it's got some weight to it, but it's not heavy, heavy. So just pop that over there. Um, so what is attached to it? Um, just the little, oh, I'll take it off because it's not actually needed on there. So the 
just the the different information it's um not actually in english um so it's just your little basic little pamphlet that gives you oh yeah, english on the back the new unlimited from bosch extended runtime cleaning on all levels it's got a fancy picture of a woman cleaning the ceiling cleaning on a worktop and cleaning on the floor then cleaning her blinds and then cleaning in the car uh reliable cleaning performance cleaner room air apparently it cleans the air in your room extra clean exhaust air rotating clean no filter washing well that's always a bonus so um yeah so that's a little tell you what we'll use that for the uh, promo photo later okay there we go so that is the main body so guessing obviously that's the end nozzle that's where all the attachments fit in um and then if i take this sticky off the top which was keeping the nice bosch symbol nice and clean unlimited oh there's a button on the front there i don't know what that does i've just pressed that button oh there we go ha -ha. i've just worked out how to disassemble it right so that's obviously the clean cartridge on the front. This is where I can't actually put it back together. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Two seconds. There we go. Right, so that's on the front there. So if you want to release the front bit here, which is where all the dirt goes, you press that silver nozzle on the top there, and it just comes out and then it clips back in. And when you clip it in properly, it doesn't actually come back out again. Um, so that's quite good. There's a turbo button on the top, which actually is just really enticing. And I just really want to press the turbo button because I've got visions in my head of, like, you know, the old Acme cartoons of where I go flying off down the road. So that could be quite fun. Uh, and then I'm guessing you've got the power button here, which, oh, yeah, I thought you might have to keep your finger on it, but you don't. It does just click in, click off. There's a max volume level on the side, which is, I'm guessing, where you should stop filling up to. And that bit at the back there, I'm guessing, is where the battery power pack goes on. And there is what I'm assuming it will be a light to tell you it's on on the top when it's all on. So let's put that back down with the other parts. I'm thinking there must be more in here. So, yes, that's level one. Let's go to level two. Okay, so level two we've got the full plug-in power station so it's yeah it's got your lights and tell oh it's got green for when it's charged red for when it's charging uh, it says you can go at 80 percent so that's quite good so that's the charge pack another little nozzle um, so that's a good one for your furnitures and stuff. Um, again, it's got a clip so you can remove it. That one. And then finally, so you don't have to bend down on the floor. You've got the metal pole, which actually feels really, really sturdy. Doesn't feel like I'm going to break it. Um, <laughs> It's got quite a big hole, um, which is quite good um, because it does mean that it will be um, not as not as easy to block it up because I do find the ones with narrow holes are easy to block. Um, and then you've got the button for the release at that end as well. And I'm guessing this is another one because of the shaped end, you could actually use it without um, any of the nozzles on the end if you've got um, bigger bits to, to pick up. Obviously, just be careful that you're not going to block anything. So, yeah, that's that. Um, I think that might be it. Let's just double check. Yeah, so that's it. So, I'm going to recycle all of that. Make sure you're recycling. Um, and just possibly keep the box um, just because we're planning on moving fairly soon. So, that might be a good idea to keep. So, let's pop all that out of the way. And when I'm done, it should all look like that. Uh, right, okay, so I've just had a look through um, all the books quickly, um, only just um, briefly, because obviously you don't want to sit here and watch me um, read all the instructions. So I have just had a quick look through, and it looks um, 
pretty easy. So I was wrong. That isn't actually the charger, obviously, that, uh, the portable charger. That is actually the battery. Um, so what happens is, obviously, you plug that into the wall. Um, and you just slide in. There are runners for you to slide it in. Um, and then to release, you press the red button on there. And when you slide it in, when it needs charging, the red light will come on. And when it's ready, the green light will come on. Um, and it's as simple as that. Press the red button to get it off. And then you have this one. And again, it's really, really simple. So as you can see here, there's holes in the top and there are runners down the side. And there's the pins here and there's runners down the side here. So you just line it all up and it should click in when I um, do it right. There we go, clicked in. Doesn't come off. And then that's how it's meant to look. Um, it does make it a little bit heavier. So just bear that in mind. It's a relatively heavy unit um, to hold. Um, it's not like a normal one where you have some support from underneath. This is you holding the whole thing. Um, so um, if you've not got um, strong arms or, you know, this might not be for someone who, um, who suffers with joint pain possibly, um, unless you're going to be using it for short bursts. Um, so this one comes then straight off pressing the button and it just slips off like that. So we'll put that back on uh, for now. I'm going to charge it in a minute. Right, so these parts, as I said, they've got the, the clips on here. Um, so I'm assuming you line those up because you've got empty port there to line up. And you've got the, the clips there. So let's have a go. I haven't actually looked at this part. I only actually looked at the stuff for the battery. Um, so I'm just going to make sure I'm doing that right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's that on. Like that. So I'm just going to check and get it off. Press the button. Oh, yeah. Okay, so when you press the button, the end flips up. Um, and it comes off really easily. So that's good because some of you I can't ever get apart. So that would be that. And then again, same on the end here. So let's just show you the height. So I'm five foot four. Okay, so let's just have a look. Oh, okay, that's actually quite comfortable. I was worried that it wouldn't be tall enough and I'd have to bend down. But actually, that's normal height. And now, having said about it being quite heavy, it actually doesn't feel as heavy as it did now. It's supported. Um, because obviously it's supported from underneath. So actually, I don't think you'd have any problem because it actually does feel quite light now so supported from underneath so that's quite good so apparently you have that bit off let's let's disattach that bit again that came off really easily oh there's fluff on my brush already um just check that one can go on there yeah although that one didn't act oh there we go it did click in that one i had to twist slightly to get to click in uh, but that's on so that would be really, really good for doing like the top of curtains and corners of rooms because it's quite long. Let's take that off. Um, this one I'm assuming does the same. Yeah, again, had to just twist it round, but that clicked into place. And then I do believe, finally. Oh, actually, hang on. Oh, it came charged. quiet okay so that's really good can you hear the noise it's like that is i'd be happy to do that when my child was sleeping actually just turn it off briefly oh i can feel the cool air as well <laughs> built-in air con maybe that's really nice and gentle i like that right um i'm also impressed that it came charged i don't know how charged but it came charged um so I think you can also use it as a handheld, yeah. So that's good for getting up all of Alyssa's crumbs. Uh, and now I'm assuming we could technically do that, you can. So it's your little handheld back as well. The car. Perfect for the, yeah, perfect for the car. There we go, it's already picking up. I see what happens when we hit turbo.
Right. Unfortunately, I didn't take off and go flying down the street. Um, but as you can hear, obviously, it really sped up and it really got power. Um, the red light was flashing, obviously, because I'm assuming that um, the battery is not fully charged. It comes with a little bit of charge, so you can check it. Um, so I'm not going to do the turbo again until I have fully charged the battery, which I'm going to go and do now. Um, but wow, okay, yeah, my floor definitely needs a hoover. So I'm going to go and I'm going to go and charge this. And then when it's all charged, I will come back with the demo.